Let's get physical! Wow, what an intro. Really good one. Really good. Welcome yeah. back to Trials, the oh. thing that you want to see, right? Everyone well, wants to see Trials. Well, we're recording this episode live, um, <clears throat> which means during that intro, we just had to sit silently whilst it played out. <laughs> yeah. It's very strange. Yeah. Very um, surreal, very weird uh, setup, but that's fine. It worked. It worked, and it's like the old old school. It old is. school trials. If it you're is, yeah. new to this, we have done trials for a long ass time. How many episodes have we done now? I don't know. Is it, it's, in the, it's in the hundreds. Oh, 200? Yeah, 300. It's in the it hundreds, be. guys. Um, you'd think people might be bored of it by now, but we spread them out. Guys, this is just. I mean, what was the last one? A few months ago? It was. Oh, well, ages ago, wasn't it? A long time. Long time. I yeah, can't yeah. actually remember the last time we played this game. Well, when this game came out, we actually did a brand deal for it, which is rare. Like, oh, it's, you're it's right. rare that they would actually they let us, uh, give us some cash. I guess that's why they don't have to release many games because they're so good at launching theirs. <laughs> yeah. You know, they get hat films in, do a bang up job, get a million sales. Yeah, wow, I, mean, I can't believe us. other gaming companies wouldn't want hat films to come in. That's it, yeah. And I sell mean, their good games. Okay. This is a thing. Like, we get loads of offers to promote shit games. Wow, what do you mean shit games? But you it's once in a while we get to promote that, what, games. What's we that like. Raid Legends game? Fuck me. Shadow. Don't yeah. mention it. Just the amount of Don't adverts on YouTube yeah, alone yeah, yeah. is just absurd. Like, get a lot of mobile. Apps. Let's play. I don't even know what it is. I don't, it's clearly a pre-render. Gamers aren't stupid. It is quite interesting how many there are. How many shitty mobile games that are actually out there that they really desperately want people to advertise. It's a whole subsection now. It really is. Like, gamers are no longer gamers. There are, they're, like, they're, well, what we would typically call gamers. People who are recognized things like pre-renders and stuff like that, I think. I think a lot of people are just like you say, playing on the phone. Nothing wrong with that. Before I say that this mobile game is on your phone. Mobile gamers aren't gamers. I just think you're a different subsection of them. Oh, gatekeeping. I'm gate. Right. Well, a gatekeeper. I'm not right gatekeeping. There. I'm just saying that you've closed the door. <laughs> I'm closing the door. You're holding it. You're hold door. I can't let a sheep out. Um, I'm just saying that like um, those Raid Shadow Legends ads and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You th you think wow, who the hell is buying this? Why would you want this? Some like, fucker it's, is. Yeah, exactly. And there's that whole that there's that fucker that we don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you, fucker? Are what are you, your secrets? Are you one of those fuckers? Me? Tell us what. Yeah, well, not you specifically. Oh, fuck me. I just got the, only, the only mobile games I find myself playing are games that were on PC that have come to iPad. You know, right, or, okay. or on console. Like, like things like Hearthstone was big for me. XCOM is on X iPad now. Really want Slay the Spire to hire up and come to iPad. Okay. You love that so you game. Think, and all those developers. Slay the Spire is amazing. Yeah. yeah. I don't deny that. Well. I don't I love it. I'm just thinking it'd be fantastic on... What on earth is this? Are you tapping your nose constantly? This is just... Um... Use your fucking wheels, you noobs. I know. Hang on. Oof. I you use noobler. my head. You've got, you got to be gentle. Again, it's been a while, Trot. Yeah, that doesn't give I'm me an excuse. It may, it's been oh. a while for me, too. If I never got it's this. Been a while. I, I was never good at the game. Yeah, that's true. So now that... You know, nothing's changed. <laughs> nothing's changed. Which, which, is good, which is a good thing. Yeah. You know, some people hate change, right? Yeah, so never change. Never, so never change. Stay... Yeah. Stay the same, always. Let's get back to steam trains. Fucking Let's not change. Yes. Let's okay. talk about steam drop. Don't talk about steam. man just fired himself into the ground using a steam <laughs> rocket, didn't he? Let's talk about that, shall we? Flat earther as well. Let's... He got flanned. Well, uh, <laughs> is he definitely a flat earther? Well, before this we put him in that pigeon This hole. is the thing I'm not entirely sure about. He said like... he wasn't sure there was evidence to suggest either or something, right? Okay. But just like insane. Yeah, well, I'm not sure if evidence. that was the crux, because I feel like that was just a what they're kind of riding on. They're like, oh, look, he's going to find out if the world is flat, as if you can't just go into a plane and look out the window. Like, mm. had to make his own rocket, and now he's dead, mm. ladies and gentlemen. He, a man died trying to prove the Earth is flat. Yeah, he made... Well, yeah. To a degree. Rocket. Well, he, he spent 14 and a half grand and six months' work on a rocket, and unsurprisingly, when he got into said rocket, he died. The parachute just immediately yeah. fell out. Well, it's and just... then he just crash-landed <laughs> into the ground. Yeah. Is, is it bad to laugh? Is it bad to find that hilarious? Well, it's a tough call, isn't it, Ross? I think. Am I insensitive? Am I? Uh, well, I, depends. Sorry. Someone did die. You are yeah. insensitive, but should sure. you should you be sensitive? I don't know. I mean, I, it's I, such I a hilarious think. scenario to send yourself up in a rocket, which is steam powered for one. Um, it costs 14k to make, which is not much. The budget of a, a madman. I think they probably <laughs> the spent budget of a madman. They probably spent that on a cup holder on the uh, ISS. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you could buy. You can't buy family cars for 14... Like a, like a brand new one. Mm. No, it'd be used. Yeah. So, like... 
I know, it's just nuts. It's just nuts that he was confident enough. Oh, especially after the first time he tried it, which he, he was successful to a degree. He got Maybe that's what built really his high. confidence. Yeah, he got really high up. Mm. There was a really rough landing, which he claimed may have almost broken his back. <laughs> and then he just jumped, he got back in it. So, and what fair play to the guy, rest seeker. in peace. Uh, he sought the ultimate thrill. If nothing Death. else, they can claim that you know he you know he didn't go out boring. Yeah, he, he well that's it exactly. Boring. Didn't go out boring. And how how would you like to go out then if that's fucking on strapped onto the back of a homemade rocket? Russ? What, you want to be on? I, should, I mean, if you, you break it guy? down, that already, sounds like a mental way to die. Yeah, but it's yeah. already been done now. So. The thing is, he was only sixty something. Like, still yeah. had probably a fair few half decent years in him. I think once I hit yeah, seventy five, yeah. if if I'll start thinking about making my own rocket. Yeah. He thinks. So. Well, that's, yeah. this is the thing. We don't know if there was any. Depends uh, on what degenerative illnesses I have by then. Well, yeah. he, who knows? Maybe he's got some other stuff uh, knocking about. And he's like, well, this is the most creative and crazy way to do this. Yeah, and I can get the flat earthers to fund it. I can get, yeah, I can get the flat earthers on side. They're crazy. They'll pay anything they'll, they'll pay for to anything. prove this. And bam. That's his. Uh, and he's in a coffin straight away as well. So. Just no buried. <laughs> buried straight into the ground. Straight, like, just bury him with Boom. the rocket. Just put a tombstone like, yeah, on there, boom. I mean, that fucker came down like a metal dart. He's yeah. going to be like a pancake. Bink. Like, <laughs> like a crooked tip, like the in a cartoon. pace at which that hit the ground. Oh. He he would be. Yeah. It's an instant cremation, isn't that's it? Some, yeah. That's some terminal yeah. velocity right there. But also, people are talking about him, which is another thing. Like, we're you know, talking about him. When someone mm -hmm. dies, the guys that make like, AAA games succeed. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're talking about him. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. And our, you know, our parent family, the ones responsible for making Minecraft a success. Yes, of course. Yeah. Chris Stott, Ross Hornby. Yeah, yeah. Chris Stott, Smythe. famously awarded. Sure, you're the only one. Award a winner. Name. Award Don't call winner, me Chris Smythe. Stott. I'm gonna take this gum out. Of Alan my mouth. Smith. Oh, thank you. You had gum right. in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or did you say cum? Just wanted a fresh breath. Ah. So that the audience. For the audience. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's nice. Um, Minty. <laughs> Minty. Yeah, they, they got my name wrong. I Smythe. don't know. Uh, like. We, we talk about that whole thing of like, should it be funny that a person's what? died? No, no. Yeah, yeah. I, but I mean, I, I, I I'm in the camp so. that it should. It's just I that think it's, that the world is absurd. If you go out in a hilarious way, yeah, sure. Like when we were joking before in one of the podcasts about the dude who was in a badger hole and died, mm. which may not have been true at all. Yeah. But who we sets the bar for hilarious? There might be a whole nation of people that live in badger holes, Ross, and that's just another yeah. horrible... You know, invisible Reality. homeless person dying in a badger hole. And we're laughing yeah, at that. True. It's, it's all context-based, isn't it? Yeah. But it's, it's who you say it to. Yeah. And who you enjoy that. We're saying it with. to countless <clears throat> numbers of people we've never met. There's not yeah. many people who've gone in. This is why we should a, be a bit more careful, I guess. You think made so? rocket though. I don't know. But then yeah, we but can't create entertainment. I think we can, we can. laugh at it. I think we can laugh at it because no, Ross, not so I'm not letting you laugh. No, I have gate. The gate is closed, sir. The gate. No entry. Close the door on his mouth. It's hilarious, and it's hilarious to many people because yeah. they can't relate to jumping into a rocket, a a rocket, rocket to pl yeah. and plumbing to the ground. If it was something horrendous like uh, an illness or cancer or whatever, like you could be like, oh, well, why would you laugh at that? That's not funny. Okay. Uh, you, you could get it yourself. Well, I'd say You're not going to get into a rocket. I might. Fire well, yourself up to prove I it. might just to disprove your argument. Don't do it then. <laughs> what if you're put into do a it, rocket you against idiot. your will? What if you're fired a rocket against your will, Ross? Yeah. Uh, what if you're fired against your will? That's murder. Yeah, That's a crime. Yeah, you're still dying to a rocket, and you we're are laughing still dying about that. Yeah, fucking hell. What if you've got the shiniest forehead in the world? Because that's me right now. That's you right now. You're looking for some God little, damn little moisturizer. Dabbing, little, little dabbing. Oh, make towelettes. A great mirror for the rocket I'm making. Oh, it's such oh. a. It, honestly, it's a mirror, a mirror like shine. sheen. Are uh, you ordered the paint job in uh, sheen, right, Michael Sheen? You want to see your reflection? Way dirty. <laughs> but yeah, no, my forehead is fucking shiny right now. Yeah, nice. and how do you deal with your shine? Uh, I often... Create a fucking rocket and fire yourself to space? No, no, no of don't, course don't not. Bring it back around to that. He that... died in a rocket. I know. It's hilarious. hilarious. Rocket. It's crazy. It's hilarious. A moment. It's insane. It's fantastic. I th I'm just saying we're allowed to laugh at that guy. Oh, of course. I'm. I. I, I agree. I mean, I, I'd like. I just want advocate. to. You know, I like rules, Ross. I think rules ah. make things fun. Ah, well, yeah, they do. However. Yeah. The process of finding the rules is very important and yeah. very interesting. Okay. So, like, like when and the rules are ever shifting too. Yeah. Like, and there once... should be as few rules as possible. I will say too, but like, what is it that 
you know, like, I, I, I'm one of these people that likes to find a total answer, which is probably completely a terrible just, way to approach life because everything's really in shades, there's, isn't it? It's there's all, a spectrum of everything. Exactly. Nothing yeah, is digital. It causes problems. It causes problems. Right? It does. <laughs> it doesn't cause problems for me, though, because it allows you to make quick decisions. That's why I like digital rules. Don't have time for it. I don't have time. <laughs> Gotta play Charles. I don't have time, Ross, uh, Tro to, to make Gotta moral play decisions. Gotta play and do uh, Not, yeah, yeah. A lot of Dota. I can't um, think about that. Yeah. I can't Laugh think about it. Death. Hold on, what Let's can I laugh on. at? Let's move on. I, I think everyone likes that, though. I think everyone likes that. Everyone likes to know where man. they stand, right? But isn't the process of getting to the, the quandary, the moral quandary of these these jokes, really interesting? Yeah. yeah. Like, like, why is it? You're okay. right. Well, if, if, our okay, if my dad went in that ship, I wouldn't laugh. Well, yeah. I would laugh. I would tell him not to get in the fucking but would ship. You, but like, would you be angry at another person? Would you stop another person from <clears> making a joke about it? From making a joke? No. No. How far removed well, that's fair enough. from your family? Yeah, from how you, far from your own trauma? Parent, exactly. States of separation yeah. until you can laugh at it. So, really, you, what it's about is not about what can you make jokes of. What it's if your uncle did it? Ensuring that you don't, in, uh, don't, you don't say to other people, hey, you can't say that, right? I guess Gatekeeping. So. You, it's a, it's, right. It comes out of gate. Well, no let's gatekeeping. Say, let's say I made my own tumble dryer. Yep. And I said, okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I'm gonna get inside that tumble dryer. <laughs> How big is the tumble dryer? It's, I'm already it's big enough to fit me in. Dude, it's big enough to fit me in. It's That's a, a large it's tumble a, dryer. It's a, Industrial. It's a quad sized tumble dryer. Do you have the right? from like a Vegas casino hotel? Yeah, yeah, and I'm in it. And yeah. I'm like, look, this is, you know, if I die, so be it or whatever, but it'll be hilarious. Okay. You're, you're going to get a lot of people saying how fucking stupid and funny mm -hmm. it was that you died in a giant tumble dryer of your own making. What's mm -hmm. the tone of you uh, as you approach? I'm filming it. Are I'm doing it for a fucking it YouTube video. Or are you laughing already? No, I'm doing it for a YouTube video. If you're laughing, then I think it's fine to laugh with you. Yeah, but like, I know the risks. So I've, I've taken the risk. <laughs> and so therefore I'm like, well, it's going to be stupid when this comes out. However, yeah, like you say, you've gone out with a bang in a way. <laughs> uh, or in a tumble dryer. <laughs> And what? it's more interesting in that sense. However, laugh away. I did something stupid, guys. But these are only so, so it's dryer. only okay to laugh when it's an outrageous or outlandish yes, thing. Yes, because happens. okay, well, okay, let's take this example. So like what a about that hole. crazy YouTuber who thought it would be a fantastic idea to use an encyclopedia as a bulletproof device against Desert Eagle? Oh, that's not funny. That's not funny. Isn't that's it? really fucking stupid. And yep. he died, and it, he didn't die. He did it in a funny way. He got his fucking girlfriend or wife, or whatever, to shoot him in the chest. That's just kind of idiocy, though, isn't it's it? Hard, like, like, I don't find that one funny. It's not funny. We but can it's make also jokes like, about it. I don't because the guy's fucking stupid. Well, this is a thing. Uh, I don't this feel is too actually, sorry. For I don't feel sorry for him. He's an idiot. Yeah. But like you say, yeah. if somebody comes up with a good joke about it yeah. that is funny, like I'll chuckle away. Something but about like, knowledge in a book and firing it. I don't know. Yeah, that's something really funny there. <laughs> It's not there though for me. Yeah, read the encyclopedia first. Yeah, I bet he yelped. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all right. It's not bad. It was worse that his, I think his significant other had to go through court proceedings because of it. Oh, because they sh decided to. Manslaughter. Yeah, then they are also. I guess they were. Is it involuntary manslaughter? Uh, he, to a degree, he was. I think he pressurized it. We've 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 mentioned this in the past, but oh, yeah, I'm just yeah. saying in terms of. That is that funny? Because that was a stupid stunt. No, you already said. What if someone comes up with a great joke about it? Is what I'm getting at. Like, so let's oh, right, talk okay. about like well, even more tragic things. Even more tragic. If it's really good, then yeah. Well, yeah. I, like I said, I bet he yelped when he was shot. Yeah. yeah. You know, yellow it's, pages. The joke's got to be better a modern than the version tragedy. of it is yelp. The, the joke's got to be better than the tragedy. Yeah. Because <laughs> obviously there was the it's Kobe, of, the Kobe yeah. stuff recently. Yeah, you did that. Um, but that was the day after. You that was that, that was a joke, and people laugh. There's like yeah, a lot and, of people laugh. Yeah, as somebody who's not that attached, it is quite funny. But there is something about the morbid, like naughty nature of the taboo of yeah. laughing about mm -hmm. something too early. Yeah. Timing's important. Yep, definitely. And again, but why should that matter? Why should a person actually be held? Wait a second. On what basis oh, is a person? Oh, yeah. On what basis is somebody holding up that offense drop? Because like you're saying, too early. Yeah. Exactly, that that's what I mean. Why like, is time relevant? Yeah, that's someone set that rule. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. But again, you know. And also, yeah. So you've got to give enough time for everyone to get over You have to it. read like, the what room. Is that? Yeah. You have to read the room and be like, so, you know, if, if you're in, in a room with his family members, you're not going to say that joke. Would but you? rooms don't really exist anymore when Twitter is so big. Yeah. You know, someone's going to yeah, be yeah, offended. It's, uh, yeah. Somewhere along the line, someone is closer to it than yeah. you are. It's not like jokes in the it pub with your them. mates. It's not locker yeah. room talk. Yeah. Doing it online, is it? get to them and sure, you know. Everything has 
receipts. It's just a lot. It's not locker room talk anymore. You can't look. Ross is annoyed. You can't locker room talk anymore. Just not like, really. I'm not annoyed about it. Just spin that towel until he, it gets he nice and tight and whip out some jokes. <laughs> Crack a guy on the ass. All fun. Keep it in the locker room, mate. Keep it in the locker room. Keep it. Keep it in the locker room. You fucking inappropriate use of language. It's all lads, 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 guys. Come yeah, on. but in here, this joke's hilarious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just remember that. It's don't lads. go out there and laugh. Yeah, don't don't, don't go, go out anywhere there else. And it's laugh. only funny here, guys. But yeah, I think, like you say, Smith, the locker room doesn't exist anymore. So mm -hmm. where do we stand when we have an audience oh, that, of multiple opinions and thoughts? Locker rooms still exist. Geography. They still do. They're, they exist. Oh, why don't you go into your local swimming pool, Ross, and, and just crack start a saying some really offensive stuff? Go me! <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's in the context of Ross yeah. being in that living room. Uh, not yeah, I mean, locker room, locker. sorry. Yeah. No, not yeah. living room. It's more of a changing room than a locker room. Yeah. There are any lockers yeah. in this particular room. No. No. But either way, what I'm trying to get at is where do we stand as YouTubers with an audience of oh. at least 100? At least 100 people. I don't know. I think it's just, yeah. Like, I feel like anything goes just... See what see what happens. It's two states of who, mind, who, right? Couldn't you make it's a either... joke? Yeah, this is this is what I've been saying quite a lot recently. I don't think you can make that much of an error anymore. The gatekeeper is YouTube. Well, this is this is the thing because if anything, your if your joke's that offensive and it starts garnering external kind of uh, points of view, even better, tweet, tweet, you're going to become more successful no from the back variety, of that, which yeah. is probably a good thing. I mean. Okay, for it's example, like it's like when these asshole YouTubers come forward and say, "I've changed. I'm becoming more like virtuous now." It's like, yeah, uh, you just you're, that particular model of marketing's finished, it's, it's and now like, you're switching to redemption yeah. of arc. You I know, watched, like, uh, unsurprisingly, a PewDiePie video. Oh, you love, oh, PewDiePie. You love you're getting Starling tips. He came back. He, he, he changed his hairstyle. He was off for a whole month. Uh, no, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, he came back and he did a whole um, breakdown and basically. Uh, slaughtered Jake Paul and his new oh, yeah. business venture thing. Mm. Oh, it's basically right, like yeah. how to be a self-made millionaire. He's got like this whole thing that you buy. Yeah, yeah it's a package. subscription model, isn't it? But that in and of itself because Jake Paul is so outlandish with his opinions and does stupid things like that and out. earns money. PewDiePie just gave a huge platform to Jake Paul. Mm -hmm. you know, not Talking of Jake Paul, didn't... Um, so he, he tweeted about... Uh, having a fight with Zane or wanting to have a fight with Zane from One Direction over some you know, disrespect he had from him at right, this uh, cool. boxing fight recently. Right. And Gigi Hadid responded to him, uh, just putting him in his place, just saying like, you know, just piss off, you're just a YouTuber or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that gone like almost a million likes. Her, her tweet just put like putting him back in his place. Yeah. Got like almost a million likes or whatever. And it's just like, Again, but that, like if anything, helped him. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's, it's going like, to help him. It's That's a good thing. No right? publicity is bad. Yeah. Publicity. Yeah. So it's like, it's not this on one hand, it's like, yeah, yeah, sick burn. But then it's on the other hand, it's like, now potentially a million people, more people now are talking about. Yeah. Jake if you can Paul, deal with And we're talking about it now. And it's just, yeah. You can like absolutely profit off that. Yeah. Exactly. But we, we, again, yeah, we're contributing to it to the whole thing as well. So yeah. maybe we should do something more um, outlandish and, and offensive. But you you really need to go full it's ham not, with it, like he does. Otherwise, nature. there's no point because you need to live that life. You Even need to Smith's be the asshole like every outlandish day. Outlandish opinions and shit is it's nowhere not near enough. Jake Paul level. Not enough. So I think you need to step up your game. Step up your game. Uh, okay, I'll see what I can cook up. Okay. Um, okay this is you're, get you're totally very right, and and in a way, I think that is kind of like. In my mind, um, I understand what you're saying, and with the whole like to engage with it is to give it publicity. Yeah. But if you don't engage with it, you become you yeah. fade into obscurity. Of course. Yeah. So like, but I'm kind of happy that I think I've kind of just decided that I'm happy to fade into obscurity. Like, I'm not I, talk I, about I, it. And just I, well, it. more like I'm happy that what with what we do. So you I hope that we'll still get the kind of following, the kind of audience that we'll always have. Yeah. Um, but equally, like. You know, I'm talking about this, like, starting a cult up in uh, in yeah, Scotland yeah, or something yeah. somewhere. Course, yeah. I kind of want to just disengage with society a bit, to an extent, because because right. I just, I don't really want to be part of this fucking surface, you know? Like, I love, <laughs> like, there are so many more amazing things out we there can about the world. Than... 14 grand, Smith. Yeah. We can get you in your own Am rocket. I a rocket? <laughs> we can take you to a rocket. And then I'm amazed it only costs 14 and a half trip. grand. Very like... loosely put the parachute out, so it just... Before that, though, you should really build on your cult thing and say that you are launching off to mm. a new plane of existence ah, to take so your followers you die, with you. They're like, wow, that's where he's gone now. And now we all do it, right? So yeah. That'd be horrible. Oh, wow, look at this map. The last map was really cool as well. Yeah. But yeah, like not, you know, I still, there's plenty of things to love about <laughs> life. Wow, Fuck me, what just happened? Flying. But it, I, I don't <laughs> think there's any way to get around all this shit of these horrible people making money off of oh, other wow. people than just to disengage with it. Yeah. Same with like politics. Yeah. 
to an extent, isn't it? It's just like, well, it'll be controlled by monsters for a very long time. Um, yeah. Guess you just ignore it and try and live just your live life your without life, yeah. the, their interaction in Off your the life. Grid. Exactly. Yeah. Off the grid. Why are they laughing at us? It's just a shame that England's so goddamn small. Yeah. yeah. But I wonder if um, disengaging entirely is almost impossible in doing this job. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, it's it's, it is. If you didn't both. want to succeed, then that's the way to go, right? I mean, you can not look at comments kind of, and shit, oh, but like... It's it's not ju it's not just like our channel. Uh, well, not sure. really our channel. I'm talking about. It's more yeah, yeah. like the wider scope of the way that like society, s s like yeah, like people love misery and love like um like hateful people and people want to be successful beyond yeah. anything else. And it's just like it's just pretty grim, isn't it? It's not exactly a complex human experience. Just make yeah. your money, be abrasive, like the fucking thing, yeah. ninja coming out saying about like if you're not mad at yourself after losing, you've lost twice. It's yeah. like. You sound just like I. I understand that esports and professional sports yeah. are a thing. I'm not deciding. It's just your approach to life and saying that that's the most vital thing. Like it is to him because it's his livelihood, right? But, yeah. but doesn't mean that's for way, everybody. Well, no, but yeah, even, even but the the, the to preach it as yeah. the way you have to be to be successful. Yeah. I don't think he understands that. That, that every time he says something like that you've got a bunch of people saying like, "How do I be the next ninja?" Yeah. Oh, you've got to be this sort of toxic sort of mental baby also the fact that people really really try to own their own success and it's like there are so many variables to success you cannot ever fully own your own or success. just like yeah i guess the uh, i mean they got to such a stage where they're overconfident that i did all this this yeah. is all me 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 definitely no I, I am. Involved, you start to believe else. your own hype yeah. but like once you hit a certain but point you do become fairly invincible in the youtube streaming world right in terms of like look at pewdiepie okay He's recovered from a lot of shit. Yeah. And he has a massive fucking following. Yeah. He has enough people that, yeah, he could continue. He could he could do what President Trump said he'd do, where he'd shoot someone in the fucking street. Many rockets and he he'd buy. still get shitloads of people watching him. Mm -hmm. People wouldn't judge him. There'd be enough people that he could survive on a very high income for a very long time. Yeah. He's just, you know, once you hit a, a kind of a... Um, what's it called? Too the, big to fail. Like you're too big to fail. Critical mass. Actually. Yeah, you hear mm -hmm. critical mass and then bam, you're sorted. Same like Ninja. Well, oh, critical mass means we're going to explode, actually. But yeah. Well, uh, maybe Ninja doesn't maybe need to right do term. anything They've for already four exploded. more years, right? Because he's got a contract with Mixer. <clears throat> yeah, but imagine yeah. being a good person as well as being successful. I know. Imagine, <laughs> or imagine yeah, being humble in being some Being humble or using your platform to try and educate people rather than... That's why I kind of respect Jenna Marbles, because she just kind of has done a thing for 10 years. No, there are plenty of creators that There's are loads of creators. That's, that's a good uh, example, good though, right? Where yeah. She's just stayed with YouTube since the beginning, hasn't done anything outlandish, just messed around with the dogs and what stay true to the style of content stay true to as herself well. Yeah. as well like she's just authentic but um, she is also in the same boat though like like we're talking about people who have 10 million subscribers like she i mean obviously she hasn't done that yeah but you know again she could do that and probably still be fine yeah um uh, i mean like another you know. great example of just a toxic element of people like uh <laughs> who's your favorite uh, youtuber that does stuff with them jeffrey star spiffing brit he Not does him. a lot of stuff. Shane Dawson. Jeff Shane stuff. Dawson. Ah. People like that create content like that. It's just like... Uh, ugh. It's garbage, isn't it? Do so you know Mochi actually really likes Spiffing Brit's voice? Oh, oh really? And she, she, how's uh, that? See, though, he can't... Well, the voice that he... So his put, real voice or the voice he, he has in the videos? his video voice. Because his video voice... Has he, he changed it or is it just me? He just uh, ex exaggerates a little bit. Just puts the bass on a bit. Everyone does it on YouTube. I don't speak like this in real life i uh, hey, speak yeah. like this in real life <laughs> you've got a goofy voice <laughs> i have to turn it down i was surprised that spiff's in real life voice was remarkably scouse scouse yeah it, you're not it? you're not as nice how scouse he is no he, i mean he's what? a little bit northern no no he, he is a little a, bit northern you like smithy he comes up to me he's like <laughs> he does have you seen my latest exploits video <laughs> he, he oh, nods my. his head side to side and says hey 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 every five seconds smithy, like, what? smithy mate you got any tea <laughs> he comes up to me like that and i'm like spiff mate it's weird you, why spiff do you put mate, on I this weird voice tea. we got loads of to live to the office mate you know this oh, i didn't get in the thing uh but yeah oh, shit. He, he calms down much, so I put him on YouTube. Is nice. it with the scouse Repeat. voice or with the, the put on voice? It's his put on voice. So oh. In real life, he's just grating as hell. Super scouse. <laughs> yeah. to... It's like talking to Steve and Jerry. Mochi! 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 Hey! Mochi! Mochi! Hey! Also, I've been uh, Mochi this wrong this whole time, but I now made it a unique word. It's what? Mochi. mochi. That's what you should be. Is official that what you... 
Is it actually? Pronunciation. Yeah. What? That's how they pronounce it in Japan? Uh, Oxford Dictionary says mochi. It's not mochi. Really? In the Western, like, English-speaking yeah. countries. Well, so, but yep. you can call it what you want. It's a Japanese word there. How do they pronounce it? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Well, it doesn't, no. What does I won! Is that, that Chris does Chris Trott won. He's yeah. a winner at uh, this game. He's always winning. Oh, if you see. like hack gaming and you like trials, please like the video yeah. and subscribe for more. We've got more coming. And uh, more streams, see. that sort of thing. Got some and new merch on the way, apparently, at some point. Don't know Merch on the way. We'll it's show all, it It's off. all kicking off. But yeah, thanks for watching, and yeah. we'll see y'all next time. Hey, trotty mate, I see you, dog. Hey! Next time. Hey, hey, bye!